Hi guys. I'm Lily Pajarno, also known as my fake YouTube name, Mariah B. And today I am going to be painting. And also during this, I'm going to be answering like a couple questions, I don't know, about myself. Okay, so also I don't know if I want to do my favorite paint color that I own for sunflowers is an oil paint. I have all my colors, I think. And these can go. I just like to get a little bit of each color that I know I'm going to use because I'm an over planner. And you know, you can always get more, so I might as well do it. Are you kidding? This paint. Oh, it opened really easily. <laughs> I was about to be really upset. I also am just going to try and use a little bit of oil paint. I just like the texture of oil paint mainly. To me it's like the perfect blending thing in a canvas. I can't get this sneaking thing open. Ew, why am I disgusting? That was terrible for my teeth, and... Ew. That's like the perfect sunflower brown, oh my god. So these are the colors I'm starting with. Probably can't even like barely see them, and they're probably gonna spill right now, because that would be great for me. I hope you know the colors all spilled all over my carpet right after I ended the video. I hate my life. So, now... I'm just probably going to start with, I can start with like the center of the sunflower, so I'm just going to kind of go for it, you know? And this is just not pigmented. Ugh, that scares me. Don't you just hate that? Like, literally, it's so see-through, I'm not okay with this. And also, if my mom like hears me downstairs right now, she's probably going to think, oh my god, my daughter is literally like a crazy person. Because I'm just like talking to myself, but it's it's fine. This is just really disappointing me right now. Okay. I'm getting upset because this circle is just like not working. Okay, that's like not bad. Where I can deal with that. Alright. I'm all that dry for a second, I'm also gonna draw another one. But in the meantime. I'm going to be answering some questions, so right now I'm just looking at my phone, and let's go. One of these questions says, let's look. After a breakup, would you rather be alone or surrounded by friends? Well, that's definitely a hard one for me because I am, like, not the best with dealing with things emotionally. And I think that, I don't know, I also like to be around people when I'm, sad just because it's like a good distraction but then also I feel like when I'm with myself I don't have to worry about others like watching me like be sad which also I really don't like I like to present myself as like a happy like sarcastic person and I feel like it's just not me to want to like be around people and I'm a very much like a homebody in that way I don't know it just depends on the day I guess because I feel like when you lose someone you love you like don't want to replace them with other people right away in my opinion because like you just want to like take a second and like realize that they're not there but then also like find a way like you can do life on your own without that person and I feel like that's a really hard thing to do, and I've struggled with it, and yeah. Am I a dog or a cat person? Well, I have just like this passionate love for every single animal that roams this earth. I 100% do not understand how people can mistreat animals. In my opinion, it's just like, in, it's not human, like I there's something about it that just like absolutely like disgusts me. DISGUSTING! I love all different animals for all different qualities. I also have a lizard. 
and his name is Louis. And I mean, he doesn't like me, so that's like fine. I'm fine with it, I'm really not. But like, all I do is like <laughs> feed him and give him water and <laughs> change his tank so he doesn't like have a miserable life. Which, in my opinion, like, I don't care if they like me or not, I'm not gonna have them be miserable. And <laughs> BITCH, WHAT THE FUCK?! <laughs> but, we're getting somewhere. I'm a big fan of, like, Adopt Don't Shop. And I personally will try and never shop for animals because of all the animals that are just pouring out of shelters that want to be loved and are being, like, sat in very bad conditions. And I just want to give them all the love that they deserve because like they have done nothing wrong to us i mean like in the past obviously like they have there's been like animal attacks but there's also been human attacks like we're all we all do it we all are animals and i don't know it's just a really big passion of mine is to care for animals all right next question i'm illiterate okay it's fine i need to stop why can't I find the brush that I was like, like I literally picked it up earlier and like set it down, but no, it's just nowhere to be found. This is really rude and I'm not standing for it. So, suing. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I found it. It was literally right in front of my face. Welcome to my life. I love yellow and just sunflowers. It's such a pretty, just happy color. Someone tell me why I'm Bob Ross. And I don't know, there's just something about it that just connects with me. I never, it's the weird thing that I've just like never liked it before. But now, like my whole entire room is yellow, just, I feel like my whole personality is just yellow. It's like my Instagram theme and everything. Which, yeah, by the way, follow me on Instagram. I'll put the thing up there. Anyway. Ew, that was such, like, a YouTuber thing. I... <laughs> so, I've had mixed feelings on doing, like, YouTube videos. Just because... Like, I tried it once. And I, like, filmed a vlog. And I was really excited about it. But then, so many people just, like, bashed and made fun of me. And... I don't know. It's just kind of a really sucky experience. And so I kind of got afraid of it. I'm literally looking away from the camera this whole time, but it's like fine because it's like what the video is. I mean, the viewers are probably happy. I look like a complete like idiot right now. Ugh. I'm just not feeling this right now. Like this is just, I don't know how I feel about this. All right, next question. What is the biggest struggle you've ever faced? So, everyone who knows me knows that, okay, well, not everyone. <laughs> yeah, acting like I'm important. <sighs> anyway. Psych, you thought! Well, I have a thing called Kiarim Affirmation, and it affects my daily life, like, more than anything else. And I got diagnosed when, I was born with it, but... I got diagnosed when I was um, four, 14 and it's kind of just been like a struggle from there. I got like the results of that I had been having headaches ever since I came out the womb. But I don't know, something just changed and I got an MRI and they told me, hey, you have this thing where your skulls not correctly formed so your brain sticks out of it and is compressed and it goes down into your spinal cord and it's just gonna give you all these fun symptoms and you're just gonna have to live with it because there's no cure but there is like treatments to help and I did get the surgery for it in 2016 in September and Needless to say, in my opinion, it made my symptoms worse. And I don't, like, surgery doesn't always, like, heal. It's supposed to, that's, like, the point of it, but I think that 
the biggest struggle is like it's one of those things like you can't see that anything's wrong with it's like an invisible illness it's not an illness it's like a malformation but like no one can see what's wrong with me so they just tend to like assume that I'm always fine but really it's just like the biggest struggle ever and unless you have it like you don't understand I don't even know how to explain it I it's just hard and it comes with a lot of crazy symptoms and all that including other syndromes and stuff it has affected me I have something called dysautonomia and then I also have something called POTS which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome and which like really these things aren't that bad in my opinion in, in my case like I'm not saying for anyone else because like I know for some people their cases are so terrible and I just hear about them and I just want to give them a hug because I wish I could do something to help because and it just sucks especially when like people don't believe you or listen to your voice about it because like they they can't see it well if you have like say like a broken bone or something or like you are very sick and you're suffering through the pain every day and there's like physical signs of it and everyone notices because they can see it on your face they can see it like they just yeah and when you don't have that they they think tend to think you're overreacting or over exaggerating or just being a crazy person and it's just the worst feeling ever in the world and I don't wish it upon anyone because I mean everyone deserves to like be believed until they've been proven wrong but like in my case I go to so many doctors and they just I don't understand like why but I did just get some really good news and I'm going to be going to one of the only places in the country that um, specializes in Chiari malformation. And I am so stinking excited. Oh, I forgot to mention, my mom and little sister also have this. So it's really nice to have someone to relate to on that. But also, like, I know what they're going through and, like, everyone's symptoms are different with this so like I don't know it's just it's just a really stupid thing like why did God have to create Kiari I don't know like I want to say it's like something he's like oh yeah this girl's gonna be strong she's gonna have this thing and she's gonna know like how to deal with it but I just don't understand where he got that idea that I could because I 100% don't think I can and I don't want to but I don't have a choice I feel like everything in life is a blessing in disguise but this is just like I haven't seen the true thing yet so and right now I'm just adding like shadow on these petals and I'm I like to make my art more abstract and then I go in later and I like to add in fine details like these middles I'm not gonna leave them like that it's just because the paint hasn't dried yet but and I like it to kind of be messy looking I really enjoy painting not just because of like a creative platform like, for people who don't feel like they have a voice, they could, like, paint a picture and get so much attention from it and then be able to, like, voice their truth, like, and tell their story. And I feel like it's so powerful, like, and just beautiful in so many ways. I just wish, and so many people who have developed their, like, own style of, like, painting or art or anything it just like blows my mind and I I think it's one of the most important like qualities to happen as an artist is to like have your own style or like have your own way of thinking oh god 
or have your own way of thinking about what you're doing because otherwise you're not gonna love it and if you don't love it I guess not the fact that no one else is gonna love it but also like you're not gonna believe people when they say like oh my god this is really good or oh my god this is like a great painting or <laughs> something like that but I don't know I just try not to focus on things that other people say to validate my feelings and it's kind of hard it's well not kind of it's really hard I mean just think about how much we like rely on other people's opinions every single day in our daily lives and like trying not to focus on like what they say and have it have an effect on you is so difficult in my opinion which literally doesn't mean anything to a lot of people so Wait. oh true <laughs> sorry if I'm like annoying you and literally click off this video if you hate me it's fine I won't be offended I mean I kind of will like it's fine but like go for it ew that needs to stop making the noise right about now or I'm gonna have to like punch it in the face I love the texture of this right now it's really just like making me happy my camera battery literally just shut off and I figured that I think this video is good <gasps> my kitty's coming over Max come here he's playing with plastic right now really good quality about him come on come here you want to meet the camera this is my baby boy come here boy let's show you the camera uh -huh. this is Max my one and only soulmate And I love him <laughs> with all my heart, you little baby. You gonna go out now? Oh, please, no playing in the wet paint. Uh-uh. No, that's not happening. Sorry, you need to. You need to go right now. S no, Max. No. I I get the heck out. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> okay, on these terms, uh. I painted one so far, really productive, I know. Finish this later, but trying to stop a kitten from stepping on all the wet paint that's laying on your floor is really difficult. And yeah, anyways, um, like, subscribe, follow me. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say. This is so hard. <laughs> and hi. Anyway, um, well, yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Wish I could do better. And yeah, see you later, guys. Ew, that was terrible. Goodbye. <laughs>